internet friends. Thanks for joining me again. And if you're new here, I'm Michui and I'm on a weight loss journey. So yesterday, I was sick. Again. And if you're thinking, Michelle, you're kind of sick a lot, don't worry. I also think that. Besides not living the healthiest lifestyle with excessively eating fried and sugary foods, not bothering to work out, and smoking, I'm also constantly stressing myself out. So today I wanted to talk about stress because not only can it affect our health, but also our weight loss goals as well. So first of all, what is stress exactly? Stress is a natural response designed to protect us in dangerous situations. In moderation, stress can help increase productivity and concentration. However, prolonged or chronic stress has negative effects on our health. Stress triggers the release of stress hormones, such as adrenaline and cortisol. Sorry guys, had to switch locations, Stephen has a call. So too much cortisol can lead to increase in blood pressure, atherosclerosis, which is the thickening or hardening of arteries, diabetes, immune suppression, and an increase in inflammatory activity. The inflammation one was interesting to me because for a year I was dealing with breaking out in hives like twice a week. And if you have consistently high levels of cortisol, your body can get used to having too much cortisol in your blood, which can lead to inflammation and a weakened immune system. And then looking at adrenaline, it can lead to high blood pressure, sudden and severe headaches, anxiety symptoms, and insomnia. There's even a condition known as broken heart syndrome that happens when your blood flow is reduced because of intense emotional distress. The list goes on with the impact of stress hormones on our body. There's depression, digestive problems, muscle tension, heart disease, problems with memory and focus. What was I saying? Oh yes, stress can actually shrink the prefrontal cortex, impairing our ability to think logically and make decisions. So if you thought that last joke was bad, it's just because of my teeny tiny cortex. So constant stress is bad, yes. And I deal with it mostly by taking anti-anxiety meds because I've talked to my doctor and you know, I might need to revisit that discussion with her and go back on Zoloft. But that's okay because it's important that I have these conversations for my mental and physical health. But I also don't want to solely rely on medication. I want to make the world around me more pleasing to me. So even though I can't control outside factors, I'm going to attempt to do some things that will help me cope. So some coping mechanisms that have been suggested by various sites are exercise, check, eating healthy, check, relaxation techniques like meditation or breathing exercises, uh, no check. I just simply cannot do them. But I do like yoga. It's calming as long as my face isn't smushed against the floor. And I like that I'm moving during it. So I'm going to try and get yoga in like three times a week, starting as soon as I'm feeling better. And instead of using the phrase, I need to work out or etc., I'm going to try changing my mindset by changing the phrase. So instead, I'm going to say I'm going to, which is a small thing and it may not work, but I'm willing to give it a try and see what happens. Maybe it'll go so well, I'll even change it to, I get to do these things. Maybe not, who knows? So here's some more suggestions, cause I did go off on a little bit of a side note there. Get plenty of sleep. I don't know what to say to that other than I try. Keep a journal. This is like a journal. So check, take time for your hobbies. I do need to take some time for cross stitching. So I'll try and do that too. Talk with friends and family. That's a little too deep for me to go into today. But if you have a good, network of that, go for it. Have a sense of humor. Find ways to incorporate laughter into your life, such as watching funny movies or looking at joke websites. I find myself hilarious. Does that count? Volunteer in your community, which is a straight up nope for me. People are my stress factor, but you know, I can pick up garbage on the beach this summer. I also can't give blood because I'm afraid of needles. Like so scared that the blood doesn't flow. Like it, they try and nothing comes out. And the last suggestion is remove tasks that aren't needed. And I kind of feel like I'm just adding more tasks into my life, but that's okay. And seek professional counseling. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm just not willing to go through the disappointment of that again, but I do encourage others to try it out because just because the ones I had were a disappointment doesn't mean all of them are like that. The place that I get care from 
works on a sliding scale. So it makes sense that I'm not getting the highest tier for help, but I got really lucky with my regular doctor. So I am gonna talk to her again about if I need to go back on Zoloft or what other options there are out there. And I'll give you a hint. Better health is not another option. We're gonna go on another side note here because it honestly disgusts me that there are channels out there that are still peddling better health, even though they know that the Federal Trade Commission found that better health had shared millions of customer sensitive health information with advertisers like Facebook, Snapchat, Criteo, and Pinterest, which went against the company's privacy policies. Not to mention the numerous complaints that the therapist seemed unprofessional, unexperienced, and underqualified. These are research channels telling people to roll the dice with something as important as mental health. And I cannot stand it. I hate it. I really hate it. Mental health is so important. And your mental health means nothing more than a buck to the people who are research channels, who know how to do the research and still selling it. We just discussed how it can affect your heart, okay? This is something that can affect your heart and people are willing to deceive you for money. There's certain things you don't play around with. Mental health, you don't play around with it. It's disgusting. Okay, sorry, I went off, I went off on a tangent. It, it just pisses me off that people would still sell it, that they claim their research channels but don't do the research on something as disgusting as selling your medical information to companies. But that's enough about stress. Frankly, discussing stress is stressing me out. So instead, let's go over the plan for today. I'm gonna clean, that's it. Maybe do some yoga. I don't feel the greatest still. I had a small breakfast. I'm feeling fine as far as stomach issues go, but I'm not gonna overdo it today, especially after preaching about stress. But we'll see how I feel later. Steven's gonna do the grocery shopping, which is very nice of him. I just had to make a list. But that's it for now. Enjoy watching me clean or go ahead and skip to the next chapter because I know how to do that now. Cleaning is done. It's two o'clock. I'm not feeling the greatest. I have roughly 860 calories remaining and I honestly am not that hungry because I don't feel great. But Stephen made stew with beans and we used beans to help thicken the stew broth. So for the beef and bean stew, we used eight pounds of stew meat and we used 31 ounces each of black beans, great northern beans, and kidney beans. That's 2,500 total calories for just the beans. And for the eight pounds of stew meat, that's 6,900 calories. That's a total of 9,400 calories. So that made nine servings, which makes one of these containers 1,044 calories. I have roughly 860 calories left. 
the way the containers are divided, I can have this side and that will take care of my calories for today. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's a rough estimate. As I've mentioned before, I don't count calories to the exact calorie number. I just like to know how calorie dense my meals are and how nutritious they are and work off of that. So for the rest of the day, I'm going to slowly eat some stew and video edit and call it a day because I know the best thing for me is going to get some more rest so that I can feel better for a very busy tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to take progress pics, help Steven set up some weightlifting thing that he bought that we don't have room for, do some exercising, and then if I'm feeling better, we're gonna try and do a board game night at our local board game shop. So if that interests you, make sure to tune in tomorrow, where hopefully I'll feel a little bit more energized. But until then, take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow.